France will serve first in the first semi-final of the VNL 2021. France in blue. The Olympic champions in their familiar gold, green and blue. And the first serve from Engapet goes long and the first point is to Brazil. It's a sighter from the French number nine. They definitely wanted to start off with some tough serving. Both teams doing. Isaac back to the service line, a huge jump server himself. It's a boomer, and it's just long. Interesting to see without any line judges here, where so often the coaches stand. Laurent Tilly right on the back line waiting. It was a big jump serve, 1-1. One, one. And the focus once more now on the serve from France. Chenignesi easily picked up by Lucarelli. And then Wallace, first swing of the day. And Patry with a push off the block. Leal looks towards our referee. Slight frustration, but it's out off the block. France lead. Patry takes both hands on that tight set and just flings it outside. Here's that dig by Ngapet, who just stays in the right position. And Patry comes in, sets that ball, and then throws it off the block. Chenignesi. One of six French players with 100 points in the VNL so far. Not the cleanest of receptions from Lucarelli. Oh. But that's not bad from Leal. Didn't Go. like the block, but he got that swing all right. Going over the top already, Leal. Look for him to be physical and have a great vision of the block, getting up over top. And Gapet deep behind that block, waiting for some hands. From Engapet, Leal to Wallace. Tin hat time. A lovely reception. Good swing by Tilly. But Brazil coping nicely. And then Leal going high off the block. That's what Gabet was expecting the last time. That high swing off the hands. You'll see him going and reaching to see if he can get some of those fingertips. And does a nice job hitting it cross court where the defense isn't back on in place. You could watch that slow-mo again and again. Power, elegance, and what a spring. Wallace just, that's an ace. Tilly looks completely startled, Laurent Tilly in front of me. He was standing looking at the back line. Okay, fair, correct, fair play, 4-2, that looked long. Engapet said, yep, it was in, gave a little nod, but here's that ripper of a jump serve. No argument on the side of France. Well, Engapet was closer than Long and Tilly. First ace of the game to Wallace. That's a warning shot. And there's another, but Engapet takes that as cool as you like. Good block by Brazil. And then here comes Wallace again. And cross court. Inspired, confident from that serve. Crashes it cross court. A nice transition play, getting that ball behind with one blocker. You'll see the block of France already fronting and out there on the middle and the outside. Wallace one on one out of that back row. This is already shaping up. Wallace rocks Grabenikov back. Here comes Tilly. Leal takes that calmly and then goes himself. <laughs> 6-2. Oh, that was coming our way. <laughs> Super spike and a team timeout. Laurent Tilly has seen enough. What a start by Brazil. <laughs> the only thing they've got wrong is arriving late on court. Otherwise, everything else has been outstanding. Talk us through this one, Salima. Well, I, I, I can't, I have no words. He just goes inside of this block and hits it 
sharp as he can and as hard as he can. And this is where Bruno gets excited and gets his team going. Brazil just playing at a high level, slowing the ball down right now, controlled touches on the block and playing well on defense. Take it easy, we're okay, was the message from Laurent Tilly. Let's see, 6-2 down. Tilly goes off the block. Father had a quiet word with son. That may have been one of the instructions and it worked. Well, that's a good pass. That's what it has to do. They have to start by passing the ball and get the middle blockers from Brazil to hold and they'll have that opportunity. Laurent Tilly, an outside hitter himself in those 407 appearances for the French team. Part of the team at the 1988 Olympics. That's a cracking serve, surely, isn't it? No, OK, we'll give it to Patmi just out, 7-3. Lucky I'm not a line judge. Keep an eye on Patri out of the back row here. As Leal gathers himself to serve. We've already seen the swings. Great take by Enger Betts and a great finish by Nikola Nogoff. He's their top blocker, but you give him a chance with a quick set and he'll take it. Lagoff finds some space. That pass is pushed to the left a little bit. Here's that perfect pass. Enga Pet. One blocker. Bruno has to stay outside. He hits that ball right through the block. Enga Pet has started sensationally as a service receiver, getting everything right just since. Big match occasion for a big player. I'm ready. And he is at the moment. He's at the net. And he almost gets that one up. Now they claim, Brazil are claiming. What are they claiming? Block touch. And there's a challenge from Brazil. Okay. That's what they've requested. You're looking puzzled, Look, Salima. Well, the ball hit the floor. Yes, so that's I'm wondering about that as well. I thought I missed something. Before, before it touch or not? So a net touch? Look what was so first fall. Si, 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 è quello che gli ho chiesto. Looking at that net touch, he hits the net before the ball hits the floor. That's the difference. So the ball hit the floor, the net touch was called on Brazil. Initially, they challenged it. Lucarelli doesn't look impressed, but France take the point. Tilly serves. <laughs> Wallace arrives. That's a thumping hit. 8-5. They're in a hurry. 8-5 Brazil lead. France and thinking to do. Engapeth just watches that point once more. 113 kilometers now. What another elegant, powerful swing. Erwin, he will take a little bit more to the rear. Peu importe, il faut mettre la pression de toute façon. Sur Léa, en 4 et sur Lucarelli, on prend l'option, on avait dit qu'on bloquait un petit peu plus diagonal. Donc, prenez vraiment la course d'élan, d'accord? Et les 130, c'est pas la peine si on a. On, la, on laisse un trou, on laisse un trou si on n'a pas le temps. Par contre, on est vraiment agressif parce qu'il est en train de piquer là à côté, ok Allez, point par point. Pas de point, il gagne. Pas de point, Warning his blockers of the danger cross court from Leal and Wallace. Get that block right. That's the challenge. Souza, middle blocker. Calming presence. Nicely played by Jean Patry, the top scorer for France. Past Leal, taste of his own medicine. 8-6. This was the ball that hurt Brazil the last time they played. Patry out of the back row on that right side of the court. See if he still is effective. Whoosh. 
Nice floats, but Isaac so tall and just reaches up and dispatches that cross court. That's a trademark shot, and he's landed his first sweetly, 9-6. Bruno, one of the toughest serves in the business, but it's picked up by the French defence, and they take the point. Well, Grapenikov is so good for a reason. Handling tough serves can put this ball right on the money. You see, it's a perfect pass. They have the opportunity to run anything they want off of that ball. Lucarelli joins the party as well. So the most important, impressive thing right now is Leal passing really well. He is a passing target for Brazil. Has been handling the ball, perfect passes right to Bruno, creating that opportunity. And here is Brazil's top server, Lucarelli, 15 aces. Out. According to our referee, Daniele Rapisada. Not by much, though. So the second service rotation begins with Engapet, who's got that bounce. Some might call it arrogance, he just says confidence. Can't believe it. Probably feels the back line was moved in there when he served. <laughs> Me make a mistake every so often. 11 8 Brazil. Already a really high level intensity. Don't go away. We could be here for some time. Zili, that's an overpass. And here comes Leal. What Another a super boomer. Pass. From the outside hitter, 12-8. Well, Brazil controlling that first touch again, right to Bruno. You see that ball's right where he needs it. They're taking cross court, as Coach Tilly told them to do. They have to take away the cross court, but Leal sees that and can crush that ball down the line. Crush is just the word. That's exactly the mission that Brazil are on. And here's Isaac again. Nice take. Oh, yes. And a monster. The middle attack. Souza just ready, waiting. Thank you. What a great read. He's there, fronts the middle. It's in front of Kinyanezi, right here. Completely fronts, full commit, both hands up, takes away both angles. And here's the excitement. Here it comes. Five points clear now, Brazil. in the hall. This is a sensational opening start. First false move in a sense really by Brazil, but 39. That's still a huge statement of intent. And France need to respond. Ball's going to go towards Lucarelli and Leal. Well, they've gone for both of straight away. That was an overpass and that was not clever. I think as a coach, you'd be saying, hello. You could see what he was trying to do, but actually getting each other's way wasn't the solution. Well, look where Elliot stepped in to take that ball with his hands. He was trying to help lay out a little bit in service, even. That's what it's caused some of that. Look where Elliot takes that one. Telegraph tip by Sosa. And I have to say, you can understand Kevin Tilly's frustration because that was telegraphed as well. The middle block was just waiting, and there was a huge hole to fill on the French side of the net. Yep, it's a coverable ball. He goes off of one foot, and he wants to recycle this into the block and have his, his teammates cover it, and no one does. That's an intended play to get a, a reset. Not read by his teammates. Patrick arcs his back, or arches his back, let's go, and then off the block. Gang of pets handling that pass really well. 
Here's that ball to Patry. He comes in sharp into that angle and beats the block. Lucarelli standing in the middle of the court. Just can't come up with it. You could see where he was going. Down the line, looking for that ace. But it's out. 15-11, another error. How about that? Four attacks, four points rather, 100% attacks in. And here comes another serve to... Hit her rotation right now. Wallace out of the back row. Oh. Sosa finds the gap. Le Goff was there. But Sosa knew where he wanted to put it, and it certainly didn't involve the French middle blocker. 16-12. Grande passe, grande passe. Estão fazendo esse botão certinho, tá? Conversa bem aquela hora do meio de vocês dois, só para definir quem vai passar. Vou botar ali assim, tá? O resto é ok. Estamos tocando em todas as bolas. Vamos lá, vai, vai para cima. Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. 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 Vamos lá,
no hamstring. I don't know, he pulled something as yep. he was about to jump. And he's just demonstrated a little show there. It's never good to see. So Isaac has to go off. Uh, is that a problem which is just temporary or is that going to rule him out of the gold medal match particularly? Let's if it see. was a cramp, he's stretching, maybe that would be ideal. <laughs> well, it's not a bad replacement. Here's a man who won the gold medal. And he's just become a father for the second time. Mia, born just a week ago or so, joined up with the team, has gone through all the quarantine and is now on court, ready to play his part. And he could be straight into the action. Instead, it's Lucarelli. Oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> play on, Ingepet. How about that? That's why he's a maverick and one of the best in the world. Oh, and they did it me. one point. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Schwenke can't believe it. How about that for improvisation? <laughs> that was unbelievable. So a little bit of question as far as where the ball maybe crossed across the antenna in or out. But looks like they're. Wow, 18-16. Who's going for the word? Was it cool? You are some, some, some uh, rights and some duties. So now you listen to me. In our opinion, the ball passed over the antenna. The antenna is good. So let's see that again, just to confirm what Daniel Rapisada was saying. There's that hustle all the way on the other side of the court. You see Engapet retrieve the ball. Here's the ball. Lot to finish. And then Wallace distracted, I think, more, more conservatively, we're talking possibly to the referee that he wasn't keeping the ball up. Either way, extraordinary point. France just two behind now. And here comes Lucarelli. That's how you respond. What a set by Bruno. A tight pass all the way at the net. Flings it back with one hand perfectly placed. Lucarelli. Where's his heart on his sleeve? Does Bruno, the setter. He's got on a few scraps and scrapes with referees, not just in his time, but certainly here in the VNL in Rimini. So France got it to do again. Three points behind as Lucarelli serves. Never high enough. So from one top server to another. Here's that play. The question was, was that ball, where did it cross over the antenna? That was the question. And well, the, the, the referee decided that it was inside the antenna. I'm not sure that Carlos Schwanke's angle or even that replay would necessarily suggest they got it right. But anyway, we move on. 1917, it's up now to Engapet to park that and get France back in contention. Lucas blocked with his first swing and goes again. Another great block by Shin Yezi. The tip from Leal. France coming back strongly and they've taken the points. TV. And you'd have thought they'd won the way that the substitutes from France decided almost to invade the court. 19-18, time for a timeout. Give credit to Shin in that whole play. Two great block touches. To make that happen. And remember the first set in the match in the round robin went to 39-37. Here's Tilly again, and he's landed it. Whoa, 19-all, recovery complete. Well, the block right now of France doing such a fantastic job getting there, getting some touches on the play, creating these opportunities for Tilly. Two big swings by him right now. 
finding some space quickly through the block. We're not quite at midday in Rimini, and it feels like we've got 40 degree heat on court. You see Zach warming it up. Here's Ingepet again. 19 all in this first set. Well, was that through the antenna? Bruno thinks so. We're allowed to play on. There goes the push from Tilly goes for a big swing. Still the play. What a great rally. Oh. And then finished. Oh, 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 man. The pipe from Lucarelli. As cool as you like. The calmest man on court by the looks of it. 2019. Lucarelli's cool, but I'm not sure the referee Daniel Repisada is so happy. He wants to work with Bruno again. They were chasing apparently the a double touch by Tilly. Didn't get it. Now was this? Take a look at this play again. things. Have we seen a double touch here from Tilly? I'm not too sure we have, but anyway, Brazil took the point. 2019, Lucas to serve. That's a good, strong serve. Engapet will bring that back in play for Tilly. Triple Brazil block. Oh. And they only needed one man there. Souza smiles at Engapet. Oh, he didn't even jump. <laughs> Get a monster block standing on the ground. Here's the play out of the back row. He's on his way down. Keeps his hands up. And there's that net cam. Beautiful shot by the net cam. Not the easiest there for Patry, had to check himself. And here comes Leal again. Oh! The block is strong, but it's out. Took away that angle, really going hard with that left hand. See Shinezi with that left hand on the cross court, but it's facing a little bit out of bounds. Gets that tool. Brazil have gone again. Reeled in by the French. But the Olympic champions have dug deep. Three points clear of France, needing three more to take a one-set lead. Too strong from Ingepet. Both sides trying to keep it under control, keep the emotions in check, keep it cool. Ingepet misses that one, just a little wide. Out of the back row. A nice serving run here. All that experience. Lucas, 35 years old. Again calls Gobenikov into action. Tilly goes cross court, but he goes wide, and it's a set point to Brazil. Couple of unforced errors here at the end of the set by France. Tilly looking for some room. They take away a lot of space on that court. He runs out. Lucas in no doubt. There was no need to go for that. Instead, here he goes to close out this first set. And that's gone long. It's 25-19 from Patry and Brazil take the first set, although France claiming there's a challenge, okay. it's a block no touch. Challenge. A touch was called. It's now called a touch, so 24-19, this first set has not been completed, so France get the point. And the Rapisada changed his opinion. And so that's what we play on. So 24-20. That's the set. So the scoreboard, a little bit confusing there. So 25-22, Brazil, and they take the first set. France have to regroup.
for France. Again with five points. One of those is a block, four of those are kills. They need to get him the ball a little bit more. Patrick then will resume at the starting sixes for France and for Brazil for this second set are the same. Lucarelli in position one, then Lucas, Wallace, Leal, Souza, and Bruno. Lucas, remember, on for Isaac. We, we wait to see how serious that injury is. Tilly Logoff, Tony Utin, Lengapet, Kinyanyezi, and Patrick are the starting six that we saw at the beginning of the match. Tilly in position one. Lucarelli continues as the man to launch the opening salvo in set two. Great pick up by Tilly. Here comes Patrick then early on. And we'll take that off the block. There it is. We talked about it right coming out of the timeout. Patry, who had success against Brazil last time, knows how to find that block, knows how to hit around it. Very effective out of that back row attack. Junyezi on for Grabenikov. Front court, Lagoff. Testing Lucarelli. Nice pick. Lagoff not able to pass that, and Engapet still going strong and thankfully uninjured as he goes charging into that French bench. And yeah, that was a good hustle. Well, that's a dangerous thing when you're coming flat at the bench here. See him trying to just get some spin on that ball before he his momentum took him into the bench. Indication of the commitment and the energy that Engapet is bringing to this match. That's long. And they'll be happy to get out of that rotation. He went on a run last time, serving that right side of the court deep and, and hard. So a nice side out by France right now. Lucarelli, so good at the pass. And Leal was feed off that set. Too good for Gerbenikov, to all. Really nice speed to the outside by to Leal with that ball moving backward. Bruno sets that ball right in Kubenikov's lap. Just isn't able to come up with it. Top scorer in the match so far. <laughs> Regulation from Engapet made that look so easy. Quick work by Tonyuti as well. Nice little lucky roll inside that block. So this ball's a little bit tight. Tries the tool off of it, gets it through. Bang on Leal. But he's got a chance now to respond. And how about that? Bruno sets him from deep, and Leal just lets fly. I mean, he does some things that are just unreal. Tough serve coming at him, passes this ball deep into the court. See, Bruno is almost at the end line, but he gets that big approach, keeps the ball in front of him, and can see that seam. The French triple block, but no object. And there's a massive booming serve that's gone straight back over. And here comes Leal with the pipe. That's another point. I think it's fair to say he's revved up. Well, it's so tough to stop that pipe. I mean, he basically set it right in front of him as if it's a middle attacker coming. But he's coming out of the back row. Look how far he lands, and he's at the net, finishing this play. Little bit of space, drifts that ball just to the left of Chinyanyezi. Another good deep serve, but Tilly received well. And then Engapet in with the pipe. The block was there, but it's off the hands, off the back court. Another point for Brazil. Started with a huge dig by Leal. 
Engapet came out of the back row hot, hitting that thing super hard, but that kept that ball kept alive, kept them in it. Tell you what, you could run the Italian national grid off the power which we're getting from Leal serves. They are absolutely thudding across the net. Grubenikov keeps that in. Here's Tilly. Oh, the... It's another one for the Brazilian block. And Souza getting all the way there, getting that block closed, but it started with this serve. We keep talking about it. Ingepet, a beautiful set all the way across to Tile. Oh, man, Souza takes up all the space, even over, over Bruno. I'll take, I'll take this whole area of the court. And still, Leal on a run. Not to mention a mission. Another great serve. Take that, it's an ace. Little conversation between Ingepet and Rubenikov trying to figure out that seam, who's going to handle that ball. Zevno on for Tilly, outside hitter for outside hitter, fresh face, fresh start. It can help with some of the seams here that Leal's hitting so well. Take up a little more space and steady out the passing. Straight into the action, Klivno. Good pass, but Brazil will not be beaten. Oh. That's one of his specials. That's relief. They've stopped the block or the run for Leal and cross court. What a transition play by Shinyanyezi. Getting up, fading away from the ball, seeing the block in front of him, a big block in his way, and still hits it sharp, drops that thumb into the cross court. Super spike. Now for a super serve. France, one set down, need it. Oh. Through the seam as if it wasn't there, 8-4, and they're into a first technical timeout. Accelerating strongly, just as they did in set one. Uh, okay, I mean, see, on savait que ça allait être un match difficile, donc on continue. Chaque point, chaque point est important. Chaque point. OK On garde, on, on, on fait durer, on fait durer. Comme le premier set et on revient après. Allez, mec, allez, 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 is a key focus, or was a key focus there for Laurent Tilly. And at the same time, we've got to come back just like we did in set one. There's the inspiration. They've done it before. Even if then Brazil accelerated clear to take the first set 25-20. They were level at 19 all. You just sense putting that score sheet up from that round robin encounter in the preliminary rounds. 3-0 straight sets for France was good enough for Carlos Schwenke. Cleveno sets off in the right direction. That's his first point. Oh, what a spark. Starts off with a good pass before the timeout. Comes, comes in, trying to get them fired up right now. With a big swing on the left is Cleveno. Palace again handling the serve so easily, putting the ball right on the money. Creates a little bit more space for Wallace to work with down the line. That's how you celebrate a birthday. Wallace 34 today. No party unless they win this match and maybe take the gold medal. Patry has other ideas. Gate crashing. 9-6. 
Patsy, so good out of the back row, especially on that right side of the court. But watch his approach, sees the line, takes advantage of it. Clevno is 28 as well on Monday. He'd love to have a hangover having taken the gold medal as well on the Sunday. And he's serving now. It's a great pick up. Too much though by Clevno. And Brazil have double figures at 10 6. I like how Clevno gets in there. That ball's tight to the net and he just crashes, ready to take it, giving his everything right now for his team. It needs to be 100% throughout that French six. Brazil in fifth gear, and they may have two or three more. They're in a supercar at the moment. Inga Bet. Bruno's ready. And so too is Wallace. Patry from the backcourt. Brazil have the answers. And that's gone. It's 11-6, there's no stopping that, and at the moment there's no stopping Brazil. What Brazil needed was that touch off the block on Patry out of the back row. That was crucial. Here's a dig by Bruno, keeping it alive perfectly for Thales to step in and set. But this is the back row attack caused by that block touch and controlled play. France trying to chase it down, just can't get to it. Still, Lucarelli saves. Good reception, but it's back over. Oh, whoa! Middle blocker versus middle blocker. Lucas against Legoff and the Frenchman with the monster block and the point. Legoff so strong, big at the net, reads his play so well. Look at him eyeballing Bruno, then coming in. Tracking this ball perfectly on Lucas. Look off, that's why he's leading right now in blocks on his team. They need six leaders at the moment on that court. Here's Leal, he's done it again. Didn't need the power, shows the placement, found the hole. 12 7. This ball, he's a little early. Find some space, gets on top of it. Leal, 12 points. Is he going quick off the block? Quick thinking by Tonyuti. That's why he's one of the world's top setters. Good reception, too by Chimnyezi. The middle passes the ball and they get up quickly. Chimnyezi up, tools off the block. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> you've got Leal swinging for fun and you've got birthday boy Wallace banging them down as well. There's a lot for Long and Tilly to think about. So much firepower on the side of Brazil right now. Everyone can score. There's a lot of stress on the block. Three meters, 22. How about that for a leap? Well above that basketball hoop that some people struggle to even look at, never mind reach. Patrick, grateful for the block and the point, 13-9. Sonoti handling that ball really well. One-handed set to the outside. Good serve, but Tales, like so much for Brazil. Teflon just keeping things going. Clevno on an equal struggle. One against three, and then the Brazilian block pops it over, 14-9. The big block by Bruno saving that first play. France looking at maybe this ball was over, and they reached over the net, but no call by the ref. Here's that block touch, nice controlled. 
Easy play down. By Leal, who's still on you the You cannot keep him out, can you? You want a big hit? I'll give you it. You want a good serve? I'll give you that. You want a tip? No trouble at all. A block? Absolutely. All part of the plan. All part of the service. Speaking of which... <laughs> oh. oh! Crafty. That was a beautiful shot by Patry. Comes in with the same speed that he always does. A big approach. Looks like he's going to crush it and just takes a little bit off the edge. Lovely back set, too, by Donuti. He's going to have to weave some magic. Side out, Brazil. France get a point, think they're going somewhere, then realize there's no entry from a block like that. And the passing for Brazil so well. Look, Bruno is right in position, high jump setting, right in that middle of the court, right where he wants to be. And that causes the blockers to wait and have to dive in on the middle. Sozo, one point away from a second technical timeout and a big hit. What a spinning serve that was, magnificent. Somehow Grabanikov keeps it in play. And there's a net touch. And France grateful for that point. Yeah, that's a lucky break for France right now. It's a weird play at the net. Brizard on for Tonyuti. Out of the firing line for now. Brizard had better be ready. This is going to be busy. How about that? Trevno gave it everything. Thought he was through. Lucas, no. The man in the mask, 16-11. No wonder he's smiling. Here's that monster block. Big move. Lucas gets that right hand into the seam. Ball de relance comme ça. On va chercher. On lève la balle. Mais tapez, essayez de vraiment de taper le, ouais. en rentrant dans la balle. Là, vous attaquez en redescendant et ça tombe droit. Donc c'est difficile à soutenir et d'exploser. Utilisez votre Il faut prendre des risques. Il faut prendre des risques. Il faut taper et en, en explosant sur la diagonale. D'accord Les centraux, lâchez pas euh, Lucas. Le service flottant, balancez dans la zone du réceptionneur avant, qu'il soit derrière ou devant, pour le ralentir, pour le changer dans sa course d'élan, pour l'emmerder. Les matcher, vous tapez, vous tapez, vous tapez. OK Allez. 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 Lots for the players to digest from Laurentili, telling them you're spiking when you're on the way down. You need to be on the way up to get full power. And also, let's try the float serve. And when you do get the chance to spike, you've got to go for it. Get that full power. 16-11. Bruno, always a tricky customer with the serve. Frustration on his part there for the captain, unable to keep that up with the dig. Clevno, grateful for a point. 16-12. That's a nice swing down the line. Being inside the court, coming out, finds that space. Bruno's right there. Wallace apologizes, but Bruno says, no, that's me. You're in the right spot. This is where France made their move in set one. They've got to do it now. Good pick up by Patry. And then Ingepet. Clips the antenna. Head in hands, 17-12. That's not the move they need. Good conversation about where they're going to be defensively. Here's that move. Oh, does hit the antenna. Little breakthrough, a little glimmer of sunshine, 17-13. 
Shinyezi on for Grebenikov. And Magoff to serve the middle blocker. Goes for Leal. But Leal now goes for France. Ingepet with the pass. But Bruno's there. And this is the story of the French attack at the moment. And there's nothing that Lovgoff can do as Lucarelli arrives, 18-13. Nice play here. Here's that dig by Ingepet in that cross court. But the finish here, you're going to watch him pull his hands. No, he doesn't pull his hands. He just hits over the top of the block. Right side blocker does, sees it, sees the direction he wants to go. Crushes it towards the middle blocker in the left back. Lucas, calm at the back. Grabenikov, the pass. And he's done it again. Souza versus Shinanyesi, one on one. 19 13, a monster block. What he does so well, he keeps his hands up. They're always extended. He's ready around the net. Just high hands, keeps them up there, even on the way down, as long as he can keep them in the air. And that's why he still gets blocks, even when he's landing. Hands are still in the air. It's a big move. And it's a move now, sorry, a big move now by Laurentili. France can see the second set disappearing. It's a timeout. Your reaction is to rattrape. Il faut qu'on utilise la hauteur ou la vitesse. Là, la C, ils il nous lisent, ils nous ralentissent comme ça. Donc, soit courte avant tête haute et on t'explose les mains, soit tendu loin et tu piques et, tu, et on tourne les ordres. OK Go quick. Quick pass for a quick tempo, or go over the top, the long one. But either way, they need the same end result. They need points. The blocks for Brazil dominating. France unable to find a way through. Patrice, that's the ball. Out of the back row, coming in full steam ahead. There's the big swing and that arm through the block. Actually catches Lucarelli super high. It was probably headed out. There's no way he gets out of the way of that ball. Typically, Lucarelli makes it look elegant as if that's what he was trying to do. Just catch it there. That's how you do it. Training exercise. Grisard, first serve in the match. And it's an ace. Went for Leal and got the reward. That's a big serve by Brizard right now. They can close this, close this gap. Just put some service pressure right now on the side of Brazil. Not just with aces, that's a nice serve right into the seam. See if they can get them off the net and get their block set. time composing himself. They are. Lovely tip. You go for me, I'll go for you. And I'll hurt you where it really damages. With a point, 2015. Leal handling that pass. It's off the net, so they know it's going out to him. The block is set. This is that short tip in the middle of the court that scores. No sign of a French resurgence yet. But Klevno will take that point. Net violation by Souza on that block. It's a good dig. Ball was stayed alive. Let's see it. Bravo, Mike.
Oh yeah, watch his teammate Ingepet. Looks a little dazed at the moment, probably like most of the French team and the supporters. Leal. Ingepet did well to keep that in, and Cleveno puts that one away. Fantastic play. Starts with the dig by Ingepet, super deep. That was the middle. Chinyanyezi recognizing where the outside is, and he's inside the court. And, and a beautifully set ball to the right spot to Cleveno. It's a really nice play by, by France. Take confidence. And here comes Ingepet. The tape helping Brazil. And there's a net touch. Shunin Yezi, 21-17. That net touch right there. The last person they want to see is Leal. Bang! Cliff no. with the dig. And here's Lucarelli, having been part of the block. Uh, oh my word. Off the block. Such quick work. Quick thinking and awareness too. Well, that's a smart play when there's a triple block. You see Angapet shades a little bit down the line, waiting for that high swing off the block, and that leaves that whole area of the court exposed. You can see it develop from over the top here. He's to the left of your screen and just grooves that ball straight ahead to the middle of the court, and Angapet's too far to the right to chase it down. D'accord, on commence à bien servir. Quand on fait une défense, on fait une faute de bloc. Ou quand on fait une on est propre de bloc, bloc, on fait une, 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 une faute en défense. Ok, guys, d'accord on, on fait l'effort de, de continuer, allez, ça va venir. Allez, 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 just doing error after error. But a lot of the time, surely, it's not because of their failings, it's because of the strengths, the immense power and the, the determination, the commitment from the other side of the net. And we're going to see it now in the shape of Leal continuing the serve. The big serve, Klibno. And it's got to go over. Exactly the power of the serve. And here comes Leal. Back court. Thank you. Again, that back row attack so fast, it might as well be a middle coming at you. They have two middles in front of you, basically. When that ball is a free ball coming over, Chinyanyezi has to follow the middle blocker, and here comes Leal out of the back row. Right, just a quick, easy set. So far that he lands underneath. Long relief for France, but it's still five points to make up. This second set is heading the same way as the first to Brazil, surely, unless Luati, who's on now for Shenanyezi, to serve the outside hitter, will be making his Olympic debut next month in Tokyo, unless he's got something really special. Seen some good aces from him in this tournament. That's a nice pickup from Dallas. And there's a smooth regulation finish from Lucarelli, which gives Brazil set point in set two. Luati is off. Kurabenikov stays. That's that little formality with Shinyezi. Brazil looking to wrap this one up now. For a two sets to lovely. Souza, that's strong. Oh yes. And that sums up that second set. 25-18, Brazilian block way too strong. And the French attack has been completely blunted.
How do they get back from this? Two sets to love down. They've got to come back and win in five. But frankly, at this rate, Brazil are going to do this in three. It's going to take some gut check right here and really a reset by France. They have to leave that set behind them, these last two sets, because they know they have the ability to win. And here's how it was done at the end. You watch Bruno get all the way to the outside, to the pin, strong walk, right hand back into the court, taking away this line ball to finish for Brazil. I wonder if Poland or Slovenia are watching this. I, I would imagine they <laughs> I are. I would imagine they are. They'll learn a lot. Poland or Slovenia to face, undoubtedly at this rate, Brazil. Powering their way towards the gold medal match. Here are the stats. 18-11 in terms of attacks. 4-1 in blocks. Five opposition errors. That's why they are in control for now. But this is volleyball where things can change. An air of complacency or a reaction from the team which has been so smashed in the first two sets. I'll take a look at the, the best attackers right now for Brazil. Leal, Lucarelli, and Wallace in that set. So this is just set two. Looking at the right side of the court, where you're going to see a lot of the swings from Wallace, left side, Lucarelli, and Leal. That's where it's coming from. Those, that green is that cross court. And that's what you heard Coach Tilly talking about. We have to take away the, the cross court. And that's what they tried to do and adjust, and we'll see if they can do that this next set. And here's Leal hitting that hard ball into the seam. And it's a set. It's the speed and the height of this set right now that's putting the stress on the block of France. They can't close it. The passing is really well, and they can find those seams. A lot of offense coming at you all the time, but Leal coming out of the back row is just is virtually unstoppable. 15 points to his name, 78% attacks in. Contrast that with Ingepet for France, who can be their silver bullet. Well, Ingepet can get hot at any time. He can turn this around actually by himself just by what he does on the court, how he carries himself, the presence of mind to see the block and to hit around it. That's one of the huge strengths of Engapet, but he's also passing well right now and playing some excellent defense. And if he can really get going for France, you know you're going to see some energy from him, some excitement. See if he can lead this team to come back right now and win the next three sets. Well, he's changed his jersey, and France surely need a change of fortune. They've kept Brizard on for Tonuti. Clevno is still there as well. Lucas continues. Brazil, why change anything? It's ever, all working so well. And they have the first point of set three. In a sense, it shouldn't be a surprise. They've met 40 times head-to-head -head these two, and Brazil have a far superior record. 30 wins to French, 10. Good deep serve. Ingepet not so happy with his reception, but it's still in play. And then he goes for the swing, but it hasn't landed. That has as well from Patry, but it's out. Strong serve. This is where he served last time, this right half of the court, and that's what creates all this movement. And Wallace sees that ball, and you see he just cuts it, drops that hand, cuts it off the left hand of the ball. Well up by Bruno, outstanding tip. Oh. Good rally. France still in this, Patry off the block. Excellent play by Brizard, that was going to just drop in. Oh. Mega rally and what a finish. Oh, oh. Patry. There's life yet in Les Bleus. This is the defense, the coverage, and the commitment to going after it all the time that France needs. Rizal with a couple of big plays himself. <laughs> Look at this play by Bruno out of the back row with a pancake. 
but it's all France, led there by Grabenikov on that huge layout, just keeping the ball alive. And Brizar coming in, making a couple of huge plays for France. Twenty nine seconds of mega magic. But Brazil still lead two one. Ingepet to serve. Still searching for that serving magic, which you were mentioning before, but it hasn't quite. Caught fire just yet, 3-1. And it's another point gifted to Brazil. Already taken the first two sets. Shinin Yezi. That was done with power and purpose. Quick sets and off the block. It's a welcome point. Shinin is so quick. And you're up there, you see that right hand of Sozan. He wanted that back after he looked up at the board of the replay. Leal, reception, and then cross court. It's given in by the referee. France feel that was certainly out. So Hawkeye goes with the challenge from Laurent Tilly. Ball was coming straight for him. He feels he was absolutely right in calling for it, that it was out, and he's vindicated. It was out. Three all. France still have two challenges left. Two unsuccessful challenges, and that's it. That's your lot. And then off the block, unflustered. They still keep chasing him with the serve, but it's almost like target practice. He's getting used to it, and he's able to put the ball away. Well, and that's the key. He's putting the ball away out of system when the ball's off the net against a big triple block. Gets the roll to the left side of the court where there's no defenders because the left side blocker's in there. Sets one and two, Brazil made a fast start. And this is often the case in set three, having blasted clear. There's a slight drop off in performance. But let's see, that's all relative. Lucarelli picks that one up and then puts that away. But it's wide. You're getting some tough serves right now by France, pulling. Brazil off the net, a couple of unforced errors by both left sides, hitting the ball wide, out of system. You see Bruno's way off the net. Lucarelli tries to go hard, sharp cross court and misses. Nice pass. And well up by Grabenikov. But the ball ends up out of play for France, and it's 5-all. Brazil getting the middle going. Let's see, Luca really has to duck out of the way of that ball. <laughs> Wide from Legoff. Lucas is right in front of him. There's a couple of big guys at the net together. That block, trying to avoid it and hit inside of it. Lagoff misses that wide. Bitty start by Brazil standards. 
But it's given France a way back in, and if you're a neutral, you're looking to see if this match can be extended into beyond three sets. They need all the help they can get at the moment, France, all the lift and morale boosts. Ten service errors there by Brazil. Not much else with the rest of their game. Off the antennae, 7-6, they lead. Again, a lot more service pressure. Brazil was caught passing a lot better in the first two sets, at least right now, early on. Very early. Ball off the net. Here's Liberelli looking for that line. It hits the antenna. Give no. Outside hit up. Wallace. Just been waiting, biding his time. They haven't been able to get that ball back there in the last few rallies because of the passing off into the left side of the court. And Bruno knows when they need to side out, they can just fling it back to Wallace. He's a slow cooker, never goes off the boil. Take advantage, France. Oh. Bruno, ecstatic. Just what he was waiting for. Lucas was ready as well. There's a smile behind that mask. And it's 8-7. They're back in front. Lovely middle attack. Un contre un. Laisse Jean rentrer tout seul. Reste un peu plus centré. Là, tu vas un petit peu. Vous êtes l'un sur l'autre. On laisse. Il faut prendre des risques là-dessus. OK Par contre, s'il y a deux bloqueurs là-bas, et quand il est fermé, il faut que tu ailles à la feinte. Je n'ai pas vu euh, sur le coup d'œil. Il n'y a pas une feinte qui tombe. Les attaques fortes, on s'en fout, les, les feintes. Voilà, ouais, en quatre. Ouais, ouais, en quatre. Ok Allez, 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 what a connection between the two of them, knowing that he's available. Gets up, transitions. Lucas doing a nice job providing some offense right now for Brazil. Tidi looking for some sharp work in attack. Looking to set up Patry, particularly one-on-one. -on -one. Looking for a few fake moves as well, the decoys in order to set him up. De Goff will do that. Patry was arriving, but the middle. And he's gone straight back court. De Goff just high and physical. Hit running that back one, that puts some stress on the Brazilian block, as you said, because Patry's back there as well. A lot can happen, but a perfect pass starts it. On this pass. A tumble by Ingepet. It's long. It's 9 8. Two love down, 9 8 down. Time is running out for Ingepet to produce some sparks. Need a good service reception, a good pass. Bizarre. Here comes Patry. Big swing from Patry. Was called out, but they're going to challenge that ball in. Simple. Was the ball in? Was the ball out? Currently 10-8. Oh, yes, it was in. Oh, wow. Ball in. Worth a challenge. 12 millimeters in. The Tilly tactic of working and bring Patrick more into play. 
He was the game changer, the match winner for France earlier in the competition in the round robin when France won 3 0. Not so there at the moment. Needs to find a way back fast. Patrick and France and off the block. That ball's disappeared as well. Well, Lucas has such a long arm swing. It's not a quick traditional arm swing of a middle. Kind of rears back and Bruno hangs that ball up for him. See how it comes back and snaps on top of it. Hard to block. Got a handy serve on him as well. Grabenikov can vouch for that. Nice pass from Lucas and then Leal. Off the block, 11-9. And this is ominous for France. They've seen this before. Here's that set. Leal gets in, gets that right hand at Chinyanese. When they build momentum, they're in the fast lane of the motorway. Grobenikov picks it up. Patry. Fault picked up by our second referee, Wojciech Marasiek. There's a challenge. The a challenge the net touch, which was called against one of the Brazilian blockers. As well as and Souza that were blocking at the net at the time. They're having a little chat there. Everyone watching the big board, see if they can see the net. Stefan Boyer, the, one of the French replacements, has even come away from the usual holding area for replacements, well away from the team bench, uh -huh. to have a look. I think the net was moving before. It was already moving and bouncing. So, no touch. Here is Boyer. Maybe that was why he was called. Well, he was looking so attentively because he knew he was going to be called on. Boyer then for Patrick. Opposite for opposite. Long from Wallace, or long from uh, Lucas rather. Some Patry looking on. Looks of concern, I'd say, on the French faces because they're already two sets to love down, 11 10 down, and not making the impression that they want and they need to. What a great pickup from Lucarelli. Leal not making the kill. Likewise, Clevno. And there goes Boyer. First swing. Souza and Leal together do a job on him. Souza getting there, that was a huge block because Boyer can score on that right. Here's Gerbenikov making two big plays for France. And Souza getting there all the way close back into the court. There's some excitement by the former middle blocker himself. I think he gets more excited for the middles. Souza doing him proud. And now Wallace. What a great pass that was from Engelbert. Superb and a lovely finish. The perfect point for France in set three. And they need many more of those, 12-11. That's what Boyer can do. He can come in and make an immediate impact and difference. Gets on the ball fast. You see the ball, the block is pinched in, but he still meets it, beats it in the seam. <laughs> Oh, lovely back set. Yeah, Bruno's my favorite setter for a reason. <laughs> Flings that ball back, they're all the way across the court. Are they sensing it's not going to be their day?
Boyer with his first serve in the match. Picked up by Lucarelli. And then Leal oh. Oh boy. powers that. Comes over, apologise immediately. Boyer. He'd have felt that. Knows what it's like himself. This ball comes so fast. We've talked about this before. Cuts it. It's Boye right in the face. I'm surprised he's still standing. But again, that sportsmanship coming over, apologizing. He's all right. Surprised he's still smiling as well. <laughs> In tears, maybe the eyes. Not least for the current score 14 12. Two love down. <laughs> Done it again. The block. Frustrating him once more. And it's Lucas on his own. 15 12. Even Fernanda can't believe it. Lucas all over it. First on the outside play that comes back, reads it, stays strong on the golf. Lucas really coming through right now for Brazil. That's what makes you a serial winner. Olympic gold medal, World Cup gold medal. Now there's concern. A carry. Franke, oh, absolutely in no doubt. France frustrated. Ingepet goes for a word with the referee. Oh, yeah, called a carry on that ball. Everyone trying to keep it together. And confirmed as a point for Brazil, 16-12. France nursed their sense of injustice in this second technical timeout. Ball sits in his hand for a good bit. There are two referees, 12 players. You play with referee. No discussion between you, okay? No put fire in the match. And Nelly Rapisada, the referee, quick to intervene. We've seen how Engerpet and others, particularly in their last round robin match, the last match they played against Poland, very stormy insults traded across the net. Adrenaline running. Nice block. Good block move, strong block at the net by France. See if they can get some momentum here. One play at a time. That's Brizard waiting, hanging on that play. He really tries to tip down into the court. Nice pick up again by Lucarelli. That's put down the line, but it's wide, 16 14. The big swing, and Leo is telling him, don't, it's out, don't challenge. <laughs> Making sure they don't waste one. Here's the swing by Wallace, goes down the line, cuts it just out of bounds. Good look by Kravinikov. Also focus on what they've got, which is 16-14. If you get into a stare down and a slanging match, not necessarily in their favor. They've got everything going their way. They're holding all the cards. Two sets to love up and 17-14 they lead, as that serves long from Klevno. Nice tip by Brizard. 
but it didn't take the point. He's tried it again. Free ball, and there Lucas. Bruno waiting, the transition was good, the set perfect. 18-14. That's tough by France. A little missed opportunity. Set that ball to the right. Here's that magic by Brizard at the net, moving it around. The free ball opportunity for a middle at this level, they're gonna score. The big man at the net. He's come on for Isaac, and he's delivering. Up he goes. Out of system, and just didn't get the touch from Lucarelli. Betwixt and between. Yeah, he was. He overran it. I think he thought the ball was coming in a little bit more, and just blew past it. Opportunity here for France. Not taken. Twenty-one opposition errors, almost a set's worth. Brazil the beneficiary. Thoroughly efficient. The time's overwhelming for France. They're not out of it yet, but they need a big response now. Leal. <laughs> that was a huge play. Keeps them guessing, keeps them waiting, keeps them losing. And Talis with the stab off the block. He's the one that got that going in a perfectly set ball for Leal through the block. simplement la simplicité et la logique du jeu. Le placement, les passes, les enchaînements, etc. Some philosophical words there from Laurentini. You're upset because you're not playing the simple way. You're trying to be too clever. You're not passing. You're not making the transition work. The magic tricks are not what's required. Oh, that's a reference to Blizzard just trying two little tips over. Either way, there's more to it than that, isn't there? 2015 and two sets to love down. Time running out for France. That was simple enough. Just so good. Boye, efficient. Sees the block really well. This ball's coming from way off the net and over his shoulder, and as a right-hander, tracking that ball from so far and finding his way through the block. That's a big point for Boyer. Good finish, full power, and now Brizard. Good pass, and then Wallace will take it off the block. Goes cross court. They're five points clear and they need just four more to finish this match. And Jean Patry's expression says it all for France, really. There's a hint of being downcast there as well from Engapet. Nice reception. Kevno, the pipe didn't work. Shenin Yezi makes that happen. The middle attack. So as I just lost him for a second. See that frustration at the net. Waiting, reading. Missed the play. He knows it. Inga Pet. 
the serving spark is needed. Oh, yes. Take an ace. Angapat can get on a roll with this serve. Not a lot of topspin on it. Watch the movement on this ball. Got some float and a tiny bit of spin, but there's so much heat behind it. Hard to get out of the way, even if it's going out. Only the second ace for France. To be fair, Brazil have only had two as well, but it's the power of some of the serves and Lear which has caused the problems. Talking about power, that's almost back in Paris. 22 18. It's the bronze medal match, Nikola Logov. Unless there's something magnificent and unexpected from France in the next five minutes or so. 22 18. That's a super spike. Three points more. They'll be level. Three points after that. And they'll have the third set. And we're still in a contest. But Chenyanyezi now drifting along the net a little bit. You see Souza's there in front of him, but he drifts past him and he can't get up and catch that ball. Luati, specialist server on for Chenyanyezi. That is not necessary. Very difficult always to come on and blast at such a key point of the match, 23-19. And if Leal's on song as he has been, this could be all over soon. Oh, it's an ace. It is match point. How about that? He's been looking for that a couple of times over the course of the e evening, ripping this ball down the line. He finally gets that line clean ace that he's been searching for. Leal has been so good tonight. 20 Overdale. points for Leal. He has been so good, and he now has match point. Will he round it off in style? He's gone big. Klevno is there. He's kept it in play, and Wallace, on his birthday, sends Brazil into the gold medal match in straight sets, 25-19. France have been well and truly beaten. They've